going down. Let me park and... <laughs> Today is a really big day for me. Um, we are here in Lake Elsinore at Medcare Farm, one of the biggest dispensaries for medical marijuana. For a long time, I've been really, really thinking about investing, really becoming a business owner. And, you know, a lot of people can make all this money um, but if you're not investing it right or putting it into the right places Then it's kind of for what so I've been thinking about investing in numerous uh, Medical marijuana dispensaries and I have narrowed it down to Medcare farm What's up? How are you doing? I have actually, I've seen a lot of the journey and Garen has worked tremendously hard. He has cut no corners when starting this incredible business. Um, so, just keep coming, you'll see. You'll see it unfold and then you'll know what I'm talking about. So like this is, this is where our flower bar is. And so we have unbelievable bud tenders. They're so highly educated on all the products. Yeah. And so you can actually experience it. Because a lot of times you can't even experience a product or see what it is. We take the actual, you know, jars that you're gonna get, right? So it's not like you, you get shown something and then you get something different. So we have like our Medcare Kush, yeah. right? You can open that up. We have the light over here. And people can actually take the butt they out. They can actually take the okay. butt out because we swap these out all the time. Okay. So we always have fresh samples. So that's so really for a lot of a lot of people that don't go to um, cannabis stores, a lot of places you can open it, smell it, but you can't touch. At a lot of places. Yeah. Mm. Check this out. Here's the light. You gotta look under the light. Yes. So that's what I'm smelling. Everything. Oh. Telling you. This is a. Hey, it's the end of the day. My mind's not turning off. Got my kids driving me crazy. Yeah. Let me smoke that one right there, and uh, it'll help you turn off. A bit. Help you relax. Yeah. See, this is for sure. This is the end of the night weed. Um, and then we got that perfect balance. Hold on, that one's live. This is the cookies and cream. It's like a 32 percent. 32 percent. Okay. Just a little. Just a little education. So when our parents used to smoke, I believe it was like between seven and thirteen percent. Yeah, exactly. It was about on seven. A good day. Yeah, on a good, on a good day. day. No, and, and the other thing now, what's great about what the law with with, with everything being licensed yeah. is all the products tested, right? So that's a big difference. Since before, you didn't know where you're smoking. You you were a cancer patient. And you needed the cannabis to help you in whatever way. You don't really know if it's safe, you right? What you're smoking, you don't where, have that where it's coming from. And so that's the thing is, it's a little bit more expensive with the taxes that we have to pay and everything. But just that peace of mind that you for get sure. because of it for everybody, you know. I, really I actually know people. I actually know two people who were getting these cartridges um, for the wax pens, and they didn't know where they were getting it from and ended up getting really sick. They got it tested and there was zero THC in it. Yeah, that's crazy. Right? Zero THC in like, the whole wax pen. Well, the, and and that, whole, that, that's what you saw a lot of times because everything was cut with vitamin E, yeah. which is not good for you. That's what uh, crystallizes your lungs, yeah. give you that, you know, that was the epidemic that yeah. was going on, right? Wow. But every one of these, these are all tested. These are all the highest quality. Yeah. And then we just came out with a collab with Moxie that's live resin. Hope you guys were ready. It's gonna be fire. I know I am. This is a lemon burst live resin. So that's from oh. that lemon that you look at. Smell that. Whoa. Yeah. So you take that, you can dab that. It's just, the experience is just fire. Fire. Consistency, quality, 
every driver that we're all about is how we're able to minimize those variables. So, and we'll go look at the cultivation. So you yeah, yeah, yeah. See Matter of fact, I'm ready to see the babies. Let's go see the babies. in here uh, we have two different strains in this room we got medcare kush which is our signature indica and we have cookies and cream which is our hybrid so basically we have uh, five and a half plants per light is what it breaks down to but it's all about building a beautiful canopy even consistent that way light penetration gets down if kelly moves these lights up and down we have all our lighting we're tracking the far rating at all times oh. of how much the light intensity is at the top of the plants. Um, and then we're able to customize this by, as you can see, we screw this over to create walkways. That way we waste no space, make it as efficient as possible. Hydroponics, which we reuse this water, and then all the ACs, all the, the uh, dehumidifiers, we reuse that water as well. Yeah, so we reuse our medium, and then we reuse our so water. What, do you flush these out? Flush these out, clean them. We actually have a torch that's set up to a trommel. Yeah, yeah. Where they go through the trommel and yeah, torch the heat and all it. Yeah. And then we soak them in uh, hydrogen peroxide. Yeah. Make sure. Oh man, that's, that's, that's so sufficient. On another note, in 2008, him and my cousin yeah. drove down from Washington yeah. and <laughs> had, a back, had a backpack whole bag trunk full of weed and was talking about creating this business a legit a legit dispensary grow up and what is it 12 years later 12 years later we are standing in their dream well done my god well done the plants are all drooping but the second the lights come on they shoot up like this and they'll be so happy and honestly it could be the same thing with music I used to put music in my room and as soon as I put the music on they'll get all happy and we play music too do you yes what kind Every of music Classical. yeah that's what they like the most For sure. in my experience right yeah. everyone has different opinions. Yeah, my, my plants, they love Sade. <laughs> I'm telling you, they do. <laughs> so this is where everything starts. These are the clones. So those big plants that you saw in the other rooms, this is how they start, just like this. And you cut all these off the mother plants. Cut all these off moms or the veg plants. Yeah. And then they're in here until they start rooting. These just got cut, so they haven't started rooting yet. But then if I pull some of the other ones out, you'll see big white yeah, bright yeah. roots, right? Okay. okay, so I got a little, little bit of an interactive treat for you today. I'm gonna have you take a couple of clones. Yeah? So what, yeah, so what we have are some of the seeds that we've just been running, and we found a couple just fires, some banana, modified banana. Exactly. We'll just dip it in here. The whole no, no, not that part of the leaf. Really? So what that does is it kills any type of contaminants that yeah. could be on the leaf at all. So it just sterilizes it. It's a hydrogen peroxide based product that we use. Yeah. And then you can take the scissors that are already clean. And over this, what you do is we just cut 50% of the leaf matter off that. And that makes it want to grow. Yeah. Right? Degree angle. It's like 
далее все было да? This is a dry room. Everything in here is temperature, humidity control. We slow the process down, right? Like a humidity, humidity. Yeah. So we're trying to create, let everything in that plant process itself. Yeah. And that's how, if you dry right correctly and cure correctly, that's how you get the best result. If you, you could grow the best bud ever yeah. and go through this process and fuck the whole thing up. Yeah. Get powder mold. Right. Powdery mildew, yeah. you, get far, you lose the smell, yeah. dry it out too quick, doesn't allow everything to process. And for so many years, we were just throwing away all that excess yes. trim and all that. Yeah. We had no use for it. And now, now that's how they make all the oil. The yeah. oil you get, that's, how, that's what they're made from. Yeah. So that's the you know sustainability, right? And, and being vertically integrated, controlling the whole process. Yeah. And if you do that, then you can control now the Now for all the people that don't know, can you explain what vertically integrated means? So vertically integrated is from seed to cell, right? So we control the whole process all the way through. So from that first plant, the clone, the baby that's there, all the way till it's packaged and to in the actual retail that we sell it to the end consumer, we control A to Z. So that's the only way that you can make sure that really your brand's represented the way that you want it to. For sure. And that's a big mission for us. For sure. We do guys with the one that quality control, make sure at the end of the day, when you get in that jar, that that, you know, perfect. So we have trim it. And then we even collect all the key. So the keep that run through the screens there. Brush that, collect all that. Well, you're better than me. I used to butcher all my brothers. <laughs> and then they're, they're doing the free roll. So you go through and they, like this is how precise it is. They go through, they weigh out each one, make sure it's over a gram, because we never want it to be under. Yeah. So I'd rather have this if we miss, we miss over. Then they go through, hand pack it, cut it, put it down. So it's all, you know, every time you smoke, is that consistent good experience, you know? But you can only get that by doing those hand crafted parts of it. Machine can't do that like that. Not right. Yeah. So we put in a machine over there that fills it off, but the, that end process has to be done by hand for yeah. it to be right. This is an 800 gram bucket of our Tropicana 12. It's a nice dark purple. Tropicana Sativa dominant 12. hybrid. But this is uh, untrimmed, so we would give them a, this bucket and they'll trim this up and then we weigh out their final trim to their final flower weight and expect a certain amount back. And Let me ask you this, so say this is 800 grams, usually how long will it take, I don't know, the trimmers to trim this much? About a day and a half. About a day and a half? Yeah. Wow, that's a lot of trimming. Yeah. Depending on the strain, some are quicker, some are a little slower. But I'd say that's about a fine finish. And right where there. did this strain originate? <laughs> like, so all these came from seeds, yeah. and we'll run about 100 seeds per per pheno or per strain, and then we it's about a two year process to really narrow it down. So we'll go from 100 to 25 to five and three, and like you'll see in the beds right there. Yeah, we we're always doing that, and then we find that Michael Jordan yeah. or that. LeBron James, LeBron, LeBron James, you know, one of my other friends. Yeah, that number one, you know. Yeah, that, yeah. So then we just clone that guy over and over again. And how long do you like? Wh what is your oldest mother plant? So we have, we don't like our oldest genetic is probably about five years old, but we rotate moms okay. probably every about four to six months. Okay. So we don't keep moms for yeah. truly a long time. Yeah. yeah. Do you feel that they lose? It's just more maintaining their health for yeah. that longer period. You know, when you're creating so much stress for them over and over again, yeah, but we do top, a top, top, pretty top, good top. job of that. But it, I haven't seen any dilution yeah. by creating new moms. You know, if you have healthy plants, the plants yeah, are healthy. Out. Plants are healthy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so some of like our lemon, that's one of our longest standing yeah. strains. And it's, it's one of the best consistently. I can honestly say I've smoked many lemon strains and none of them has ever tasted or hit the way your guys is lemon yeah, head. It's amazing. Wow. People that love sativa, they fall in love with that strain. So that's the biggest thing is with the feedback we get, when someone tries one of our flowers, 
that they'll come back and ask for her by name mm -hmm. again, and that's the best compliment yeah. we can get. They know. So. All right, so the tour just wrapped up. Garen, thank you so much. I am blown away. Um, we are gonna go back over to the store. I wanna sign up, get my membership. Gotta get my um, membership. For sure, get some flour. You guys come down, Medcare Farm, Lake Elsinore. It's incredible. Stop in, come get your membership, come pick up some flour. Come see the compound. If you ask Garen, I'm sure he'll show you around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You know, you know.